brought to you by Geico. Aaron, Wallace Chapman not up there in the save situation. Is there something going on with him? Uh, yeah, he's been sick the last two days. So, um, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't available at all today. Um, so, yeah, he's just been sick. Any more detail you can give to that? Do you expect him back tomorrow? Uh, I'm hoping he'll be back tomorrow, yeah. Tom Merriam, go ahead. Gary, what did you think of Montgomery's performance tonight? Uh, I thought he was really good early. Um, you know, on the attack, good fastball, good command, uh, real pitch efficient. And then, uh, you know, then the long inning, you know, where, you know, I think he threw 36, 37 pitches, I think took a lot out of him. And, and I think, you know, he lost some of the sharpness at that, at that point and the next time through the order. Um, but to his credit, you know, give, obviously gives up the three run homer and that's, and that's all from there. And that's, you know, Monty, you know, with Monty, he's always going to compete. So I thought he was real sharp early. And then I, th I think probably lost a little of the stuff with, with the long inning. I think he ended up throwing like 36, 37 pitches in that one inning to get out of it. So, um, but, but, a, a competitive, uh, uh, outing and effort for sure. Bruce Beck, please unmute. Aaron, what did it mean to get the productivity from Sanchez tonight? I thought he looked great all night. The first at bat on everything, just missed one where he, you know, hit the fly ball to left field. Thought it was a really good at bat. Um, obviously, the homer, you know, the homer was obviously gives us the lead and a huge swing. But, you know, again, looking at the entire at bat, it was a really good at bat. And then his final at bat, too, right on a lot of things. And so really good to see that and, and thought he was in a good spot all night thought he did a good job behind the plate so obviously we needed it tonight is every win meaningful during this stretch where you're a little undermanned oh it's meaningful all the time you know pour a lot into it and you know i tell you one of the best parts about this is when we get to shake hands at the end of a, a day where a lot of people have a hand in it you know, you lose the first game of a doubleheader, kind of get held down, shut down offensively, and for the guys to come out right away, DJ sets the tone with a base hit right out of the shoot. And, uh, you know, I thought I thought a lot of quality at bats in, in the second game, uh, you know, to, to salvage a split today. Go next to Brian Hoke. Aaron, we uh, asked you about the bats after game one. You're struggling to score runs. Uh, is that play into giving Judge a green light on 3-0 there? No. I mean, had we scored seven in the first game, I would have given him the green light in that spot <laughs> in the second game too. So, uh, no, didn't really play into it, no. Other questions? And just to, just to see him put a swing on ball like that and hit the glass out there in center field? Yeah, it was, it was really good. Really under control at bat. I thought his first – he walked the first at bat, right? Uh, I think yeah. so. And then just really easy takes, I thought, under control all night. Uh, obviously gotten a great count there. He, he was swinging 3-0 the first time up and fouled a pitch straight back. This one he didn't foul straight back. He, he put it off the batter's eye. So I, I thought really good at bats from Judgey tonight. Pete Caldera, go ahead. Aaron, just to clarify with Chapman's illness, is there any concern this could be COVID-related or has that been ruled out? He, he's gone under – he's taken a lot of tests in the last couple of days, and we don't believe it is that, no. So uh, we, we just believe he, you know, got a bug and uh, think he's hopefully coming around. I, I know the second half of the day was a lot better, but um, – he, he, he's, he's gone under a number of tests at least the last few days, and, and we think we're okay there. Thank you. Meredith. Aaron, just kind of along the same lines, because he is testing negative, is he allowed to travel with the team to Detroit with no issue? Um, I got to see what, what, what the trainers are doing, if he's traveling with us tonight or possibly tomorrow. Um, I don't know what the final decision is there yet. And totally unrelated. What did you think of Florial in center field and at the plate tonight? Uh, good. I mean, a tough draw when you're lefty on lefty, right out of the shoot, and Robbie Ray. Um, but competitive at bats, and then obviously his last at bat, you see, you know, you see him smoke a ball the other way, and you know we've seen that now for 
a few springs, his ability to drive the ball to all fields. So good to see him uh, really sting one the other way to almost give us an insurance run there. You had said before the game that you weren't sure that he would be here after today's doubleheader. Is there any more clarity on that? Uh, we'll go in there and, and talk and see where we're at and see what moves we're making going into tomorrow. I don't have anything yet for you. Lindsay Adler, please unmute. Aaron, you guys are um, skipping over things in Tyone and rotation. Um, oh. Is that to line up for your series against the Rays and Red Sox next week, or is there something up with, with Tyone? Well, we're considering going with JMO on Sunday, um, but we're it just kind of lines up with Michael King and some of his length and being in that Sunday, you know, obviously getting our, you know, four starters lined up for that homestand. It also, we, we this time around, we planned on giving JMO a couple extra days um, just by design. You know, obviously Corey, you know, going down is, hasn't really affected that much in, in the plans for this stretch of 13 games. So we're going to have him go probably Sunday or Monday anyway. And, and we just decided to line him up uh, for that Monday to start off the homestand.